Okay, so I'm looking at this, and so there are three types of lightning. Yeah. Ground to cloud, cloud to ground, cloud to cloud. Mm -hmm. We saw all three, all three types. of them for sure. Yeah, absolutely. That was amazing video. Very but incredible. It's a, it's so an educational piece of video right there. And Brett, so you have an air quality alert that yeah. you want to inform us about that's <laughs> happening this week. Yeah, the, the late this afternoon, the National Weather Service issued this. So we go from severe weather. Now we have to be worried about ozone. My goodness. We're going to have a little bit of higher ozone uh, in the air tomorrow. That means it's sort of a ozone pollution. This includes the Tyler Longview Marshall area. So what does ozone pollution mean? Well, it con it's just a combination of heat, humidity, and light winds. And so it makes it a little difficult to breathe sometimes. So we need to take action by conserving energy. Some ways to conserve energy would be share a ride. So, you know, get a ride with a friend if you're going somewhere to the grocery store, something like that. Ride a bike, walk if you can. And instead of mowing early in the day when the winds are light, wait until later in the day when a breeze starts to kick up. And we'll have that kind of breeze tomorrow afternoon at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. That can get the air circulating and stirred up a little bit and reduce that pollution. All right, a little concern about the warmth tomorrow. It's not going to be a hot day tomorrow because we've been hotter than this. But the Red Dirt Barbecue Festival forecast, we're going to see a temperature right around 88 or 89 degrees. And then tomorrow night, just simply spectacular, starlit and warm. Remember you to drink water because we are looking at some of the first prolonged amounts of warmth that we're going to see here. Mother's Day planner starts off warm Sunday morning, 72, 82 by noon, and then 90 for the afternoon with a bit of a breeze at 8 to 14 miles an hour. So here we go with some energy saving tips. And one of those in, includes setting that thermostat about as high as possible that you're still comfortable because every degree is about a 6 to 8 percent energy savings. Set that thermostat higher when you're away from your house. Watch the windows, close the window shades, turn fans on and appliances. Only use larger appliances early or uh, early in the day or in the evening. And look at this. This is May 14th through 20th. So again, we're going from this unsettled weather pattern to this sort of stagnant weather pattern, which we'll talk more about at six, what's causing this, but it's warmer than average, likely all across East Texas, most of Central Texas and into West Texas, and most of the United States, warmer than average temperatures are favored through almost the two, middle two thirds of the month. Look at our high temperatures here. Monday through next Sunday, nothing but 90s all the way. I mean, tomorrow's the coolest day, all that, and it's 89. So we're going to stay in the 90s right on through uh, the middle to latter part and even into next weekend through the 16th at least. So tonight, stellar and starlit. Enjoy this one, 64 under a clear sky. Sunrise is tomorrow at 630. Winds will be out of the east light overnight. And those overnight lows will fall into the 50s in places like Linden. Then low 60s around Gilmer will be in the mid 60s to low 70s across much of East Texas. We'll call it comfortable. Humidity doesn't really start to creep back in here until maybe the middle to latter part of the day. At least that's where it, when it makes it to Tyler and Longview. Otherwise, the highs at 89. It's a warm day for Mother's Day, a high of 91. The average high on Mother's Day, by the way, 94. So that'll, that record will stay. Average high on Monday is 81. We're going to be up to 93. Then near record highs on Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. And it'll be hot and humid Friday with a high temperature right around 94 degrees. So a lot of warmth, very little, if any, rain. And certainly, maybe this is the best part of Almada, no severe weather for the wow. next 7 to 10 days. I'm excited.